Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have posted previously, when you do a clean install of Windows 11 24H2, BitLocker is turned on by default in that actual installation process and basically encrypts your drive for security reasons according to Microsoft. Now, although this may seem, in theory, a good idea and a good principle, there have been numerous reports now doing the rounds online, mainly on Reddit, that multiple users now are complaining that they are losing their data because of BitLocker encryption in different situations and use cases. So just to give you an example of how this could happen. So if you had a hardware issue, that ended in Windows asking for a BitLocker recovery key. And the Microsoft account that was used to sign in was an old one that you had not signed into in years and you did not even know the email address of, let alone the password. Then you can't get into your device and your data is encrypted. So if you can't get into your device and you don't have a Microsoft account, that means you lose your data unless obviously you have a backup which I've always advised and I think for a lot of people especially your average Joe who isn't that tech savvy they don't even know that their device is encrypted and this could be a case so they don't know that if you do lose your Microsoft account you cannot get your recovery key if you can't get into your Microsoft account. And if you don't have your recovery key, it means if something goes wrong with your system and you need that recovery key to get into BitLocker, because as mentioned, BitLocker is automatically turned on by default when you clean install Windows 11 24H2, you get the idea. That's why there are more reports doing the rounds now because of this issue that users are actually now losing a lot of their valuable data. Now, one comment regarding um, BitLocker, and I do agree with this, is that I'd argue, and I'm quoting this, I'd argue the person said that for the average user, availability of their data matters far more than confidentiality. Losing access to family photos and documents because of inavailability is far more painful than any confidentiality concerns and I totally agree with that comment because as mentioned I think for a lot of people your average home user BitLocker device encryption is not necessary and not even needed yet Microsoft is forcing it to be turned on by default in Windows 11 24H2 during a clean installation as mentioned and this is also another reason why Microsoft is wanting users to sign in with a Microsoft account so they get access to that BitLocker recovery key with a Microsoft account because as mentioned if it's on by default and you lose that key or you can't get into your Microsoft account to get access to your key then obviously you're headed for problems. Now up until recently and as I have posted Microsoft did not enable BitLocker encryption in Windows 11 Home Editions, only the Pro. Now with the rollout of 24H2, Microsoft also started turning on BitLocker for some Home Editions of Windows 11, which previously was not the case. And I have posted a video on that and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. So this could be affecting a lot more users of Windows 11 24H2 than it did previously because it's now enabled in both Home and Pro. And BitLocker encryption is one of those kind of controversial features that Microsoft has introduced because it's also been known to slow down SSDs on Windows 11 up to 45% and I've posted a video on that how you can check and disable and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen as well because it did gain quite a bit of interest that slowing down of SSDs. So that's another controversial aspect of BitLocker that obviously users are not happy about. 
So basically, at the end of the day, you lose access to your Microsoft account. You could potentially lose your data forever. And this is becoming a more common occurrence. So I'm just putting it out there to make you guys aware. And just on a side note, you are able to turn off BitLocker in the settings of Windows 11 24H2. And how you would do this is you just head into your settings, head over to privacy and security, and here you'll see device encryption. Here's where you can actually turn off local device encryption and BitLocker drive encryption. If you have it installed, if you click on this link, it'll take you into the legacy aspect of the operating system where you can turn it on BitLocker or turn off BitLocker. I don't have it on this home edition of Windows 11 24H2 because as mentioned, I said for some, it's turned on in home. And I'm fortunately one of those where it's not turned on by default. So if you click on this, it'll take you to the menu where you can turn BitLocker on and off if it is enabled on your system. So that's one way um, you can circumvent this problem if you are concerned. And I think one comment over on Reddit summed it up perfectly, where one commenter said, and I'm quoting, Microsoft's secure by default approach has become the biggest risk to personal data on Windows 11, completely overlooking the real needs of everyday users. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.